Good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Hi, good night. Good evening. Good evening, Marco. Good evening, Sandra. Hello, Marquito. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay. I can hear that it's raining out there. Yeah. And it's raining hard. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit cold to hear it's raining and it's cold. Hello. <laughs> the good thing is that I could. I could take a nap before the class. That was nice. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Good evening, everyone. Um, well, welcome to a new week, one more week of classes, English classes. Well, and thank you for being here, even though it's raining and it's cold, but we are here. Hey guys, so I'm going to share with you the screen so that you can see the presentation and today's topic. Let me know when you can you are able to see it. Can you see my presentation? Yeah. Sandra, can you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so um, as you can see, we are still in the Unit 3 Communication and the Workplace. And today's topic is one very important and interesting steps to write a formal email. So today we're going to learn the language, the appropriate language that we need to use when we write an email. The objective for this class is the students will be able to prepare and write and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. So yes, that's where we are going to uh, do today, right? Writing emails. The agenda, in the warm up we have interview, then we have in activity one a role play, then in activity two steps to write formal email, activity three formal email phrases, and activity four time to work, and finally the wrap up. So I'm going to take the attendance. Don't forget to say present or here. Okay, just let me give me a second. Okay, today is Monday, August 23rd, 2021. Yes, Monday 23rd. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. There you go. Alfredo Alexander. Well, he wrote me that he's sick. Carla Maritza Sanchez Mesa. Carlos Gualberto Rodriguez. Present. Okay, thank you. Cristina Romero. Domingo González. 
Fátima Portillo. José Matías Lemus. Present. Karina Espinosa Ventura. Marco Velázquez Vázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Maideli Judith Díaz Rivera. Present. Maideli. Ok. Thank you, Maideli, for being here. Nancy Rodríguez. Rocío Martínez. Salvador Elgato Escobar. Present teacher. Oh, yeah. Eh, Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Walter Daniel González. William Pérez. Present. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, very good. Thank you. I'm going to share my screen again. Oh, we have here some, oh, Nancy said presente and Christina too. Okay, thank you. Nancy and Christina. Okay, just let me update it. Christina. Nancy. Somebody else? Okay, Carla Maritza. Okay, yeah, it's very good. So, <clears throat> as I was telling you. Me, teacher. Oh, Rocio. Yeah, you already mentioned your name. Rocio Martinez. Present teacher. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, I'm going to share my screen again. So let's start with the warm-up interview. Okay, in this activity, you are going to practice the past tense, okay? You are going to talk about what you did during the weekend. You will have the opportunity to speak English practice your speaking skills and to learn a little bit more about your classmates. So you're going to ask an answer. How was your weekend? Did you do something special? The other question is, can you tell me about your weekend? Where did you go? Did you buy something? Okay, I think, can you see the screen now, right? Okay. Where did you go on the weekend? Did you buy something special? What did you eat? Did you work in the platform? Did you practice your English? Did you watch a movie? What was the movie about? So I'm going to assign you in groups and you are going to um, practice, ask and answer the questions with your classmate, okay? So, uh, if, if it's possible, take a screenshot of the presentation or you can open it because I already sent it. Mm -hmm. Can somebody tell me what you're going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? A ver, alguien que me diga.
Carlos Walberto, can you tell the class what you're going to do, please? You look very serious, that's why. Vamos a hacer una, con el compañero, eh, vamos a trabajar en grupos y nos vamos a hacer estas preguntas que están ahorita en pantalla. Yes, so please, the purpose is that you have a conversation, okay? Okay. Mm, very good. Marlon, good evening. Tell me, teacher. <laughs> Okay. I already created the groups. Please get in the groups. Teacher. Hello, good evening. Me escucha. Yes, of course. Sí. Ya lo voy a asignar a una sala, Domingo. Parece que. Ok. Pero sí me escucha. Sí, sí. amigo. Fuerte y claro. Ahora te voy a bajar volumen entonces. Mucho. Lo del primer cuadro vamos a hacer, teacher. I'm sorry. Lo del cuadro vamos a hacer, lo que dice, how was your walking? Yes, how was your weekend? Sí, solo que no me aparece aquí, bueno. Voy a ver si puedo desde acá. <laughs> Good evening, Rosy. Hello, Rocio. Hello, teacher. There's nobody else. Anyone uh, was connected? Yeah, I can see. Uh, Domingo is in the in the in the main room. So maybe you can practice with him. Oh yeah. Uh, ah okay. Ya, ya va a entrar Domingo a su a su sala. Ah okay, de acuerdo. So he's going to practice with Thank me. You. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Domingo, ¿ya tiene la invitación? Para entrar al, al room number four. No. ¿No le ha caído? No. Pero, oh, ¿cómo en no? el WhatsApp. No, no, Domingo. Ahí para unirse al, al room number four. No me parece. No le aparece. No. Sí, ahí dice Domingo Alexander no ha entrado, dice. A la sala 5. Es que se me, se me cayó el, el, el Zoom antes de, de entrar Vaya, con estado. Sí. De... Vaya, ya, ya sí. se va a mover algo. Eh, perdón, Rocío aquí con usted. En la sesión principal. Si no, es que si le doy aquí, no sé si me va a salir. Tengo una... No, no espere, ya, ya se me va a unir Rocío con usted. Sí, que cuando estaba haciendo los grupos se me cayó el... El, el, el uh -huh. Sí, probablemente por eso no le ha caído la invitación. Rocío. Can you Hello, please, teacher. Can you please leave the room and go to the, the main uh, room, the main session? Okay. Domingo is there and he cannot get ah, okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, hello, teacher. Still. Okay. Are you practicing with your classmates, or or they are not? Teacher William is only hearing, and Karina, he's uh, she's coming on the bus, oh. and but I explain she about the activity mm -hmm. and only oriented uh, about the, the questions and, okay, she me, uh -huh. and she said me that uh, her cell phone mm -hmm. te lo robaron. <gasps> <gasps> still, still last she, weekend really her cell phone was stolen uh, the uh, no, uh, the phone of the company is she using on this moment. So she's using the same phone on her company. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Karina. That's too bad. See, it's coming on the bus, and I only explained it. Okay, Marco, and how was your weekend? Can you tell me about it? Uh, I was working. Really? I, yeah. I have uh, turnos, como se dice? Eh, oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot the word in this moment, in the slip of my mind. <laughs> well, you have like. I work, I work, I work 12 hours and 12 hour rest in my home. But mm -hmm. I work full day mm -hmm. and rest. Uh, yes, always okay. work, but it's a uh, uh, personal. Oh, okay. Okay. And what is the other question? Um, the next question. Right, so. Did you do something special on the weekend besides working? Mm. No, no, I didn't. You didn't, okay. I didn't. Uh, did you go out? 
only work <laughs> personal. Okay, only your personal work. Can you tell me about that? What, what exactly did you do? Um, I painted the escaleras. No sé cómo se dice. The stairs. Uh -huh. You painted some stairs. Painted the stairs and installed a circuit to to connect 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 the uh, 120 volt. Is that in, in your home or in another house? Another house. So you, you do those words, those type of words. Sorry? You do those type of work. I mean, you are yeah. electrician. Yeah, I am electrician. I structural metallica so steel. Mm, steel. Okay, yeah. And other. I mechanic. You are a mechanic. Mechanic. A also, car, a car, car mechanic. Car mechanic and a technical support or machine sewing. Machine so, sewing. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. My and goodness, you are multitasking. You can do a lot of things. Uh, I'm technical farmer. Okay, you're also a technical farmer. Nice. And now you're and also you are bilingual. Bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wrote in the chat. Uh, yes, turno is shift. Turno shift. de la mañana, morning shift. Turno de la tarde, afternoon shift. Evening shift. And de la noche, evening shift. Evening shift. Oh, right. Okay. Shift is... S H um, I F T F T Yes S H I F T Shift Shift Casi como el, el chief de la laptop <laughs> ¿De qué? En la laptop es, dice S H I F T Shift Shift to, to Ah cut. yes your letter yeah like <laughs> in your computer yeah it's in your keyboard that work too um yeah. what about um, another question did you practice your english during the weekend uh so so i write to my sister and i was great Writing with my sister. Okay. Uh, she, she live uh, in United States. You were uh, texting with your sister. Yeah, text. And a friend. In a, a friend. friend. In a friend, yeah. Congratulations because you were practicing your English. Um, what about the platform? Do you work in the platform? Um, and this weekend, uh, we can, mm, I didn't. You didn't work on the platform. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, did you watch a movie by any chance during the weekend? Uh, no, no. I, don't, I don't have time to watch TV. You didn't I, have time. <laughs> I rest only five hours, five, mm -hmm. six hours and to sleep and get up and go to the work yeah you were very busy you were very busy okay thank you so much it's time to go back all right asiste en la 9 responde yes i did en la 10 ya tendría que dar la explicación porque él está lo que dio okay uh -huh. Okay. Tina, siete.
Okay, guys. Can we have a volunteer to tell the class about your weekend? Guys, hello. Do we have a volunteer to share with the class what you did during the weekend? Or tell me about your classmate. For example, I will I can tell you about Marco because I was I was talking to him and he said that on the weekend um, he didn't do something special because he worked. And um, he told me that he didn't he didn't go um, to any place he he didn't watch a movie because he didn't have time for that he could only rest by hours and he also told me that he couldn't work in the platform this weekend but he could practice his english with with his sister and a friend okay so now can you tell me about your classmate or about yourself your and your weekend. Can we have a volunteer to do that? No volunteers. Anyone? If not, guys, I'm going to choose one person. Just a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> wow, it's Monday. It's Monday. I know, I know. Let me see someone. Victor David, would you like to talk the class, please? Trabajé con, con Sandra y Dinora porque mi compañera no podía. Okay. okay, so tell me about Sandra's weekend. <laughs> the fin de semana. Yeah, what she did. And you should know it Aprende. very well. Sandra, how, how was your weekend? Did you do something special? Number one, she was very hard decorating the house. Did you do something special? Can you tell me about your, your weekend? Going for a walk with my family. Where did you go? To, to the park in Isalco. Did you do buy something? Yes, a little memory for my mom. Oh. What did you do? It. What did you do? Um, 
Chicken. Chicken. Did you work in the platform? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you your English? No, I didn't. <laughs> did you watch a movie? Yes, I did. What was the movie about? End of, end of Die to the German. No, se me olvidó cómo se dice. Okay. Finish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay. And these following questions, it's in general. Guys, tell me, do you write and receive mails at work? Please raise your virtual hand. If you write and receive emails at work, I do. I do, so I'm going to raise my hand. Okay. In the others, let me see. Do you write and receive emails at work? Not the church. No, really? No. Nobody? I only personal. Only personal emails, but not to communicate with your... Your company, no. With company. your co-workers. No. What about Rocio? Or Carla? I wrote uh, 10 emails approximately, teacher. Per day? Uh, yes. Wow, a lot of emails. Oh, Victor says, yes, teacher, several emails. Okay, that's good. Another person says, Yes, but from my boss. This is my daily Lisa. She receives emails from her boss. Okay. And who do you email to? Who do you email to? Mm -hmm. When you write the emails, who do you send the emails to? Oh, Marlon says, so do I. Ok. <laughs> Vamos a ver, ¿a quién le escriben? Well, I write my emails to students, to my boss, to my colleagues. What about you? Who do you email to? Marlon, Victor, Rocío. Could you hear my question? Oh, okay, you're waiting in the chat. <laughs> Jose Matias dice, my wife, to my wife. <laughs> so Matias sends emails to her, to his wife, okay. <laughs> But is that for for work? Ah, okay. It says, let's see. The team. Victor says to providers, my daily to the members of, of the board of the rector. To my friends, Carlos Alberto says to my friends. Marlon says to my boss in the area I need to share something important. Okay, thank you guys. Um, Next question, is it easy for you 
write emails, to write emails. Is it easy for you? To my colleagues and suppliers, also to my boss. Okay, Christina, thank you. Okay, Matias says that it's very easy to write emails. My dear Lisa, yes, it's always easy. Okay, that's great because we do it in Spanish. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, what kind of language do you use where, when writing emails? What kind of language do you use? Is it formal language or informal language? Oh, Domingo says that he sends emails to his friends. Okay, interesting. So what kind of language do you use when you write emails? Okay, Matias says that he writes in Spanish. Mayeli says that she writes formal emails. Formal too. Marlon says formal language too. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. So, um, Victor says formal, Maydeli says formal language, Christina, formal language, great. But I guess they are, they are all in Spanish. Rocio, do you write emails in Spanish or in English too? Both uh, idioms teacher. Both languages. Because, uh, yes. Because I, uh, my uh, bus is in Miami, for example. Mm, okay, nice. So in this class, you will be able to write short and professional emails to co-workers. So which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Next check, we have, for example, do not use all capitals, avoid using the subject important, use a formal salutation, be brief, express clearly why you're writing, do not use abbreviations, and do not use smileys. So which of these tips um do you follow when you write formal emails professional emails okay sandra says that she writes to her sisters and co-workers christina formal emails karina spanish okay so which of these tips do you follow when you write emails, formal emails. You do not use all capital letters. Okay, you don't you do not use all capitals. Yeah, that's very important because it's not good, right, to write all your email with capital letters con mayúsculas, verdad? No se escribe todo con mayúsculas. Okay, any other one? Which, uh, which, what is another tip? Use formal salutation. Okay, that's good. Use a formal salutation. Mm -hmm. Un saludo formal. Do you use abbreviations? Fatima says no, okay. Do you use smileys, emojis in your formal emails? No. No, okay, are you brief? O sea, son breves. Very yeah, it's rarely. important to be brief and it's important to express clearly why you are writing. Mm -hmm. Next, see the chat. Domingo says yes. Nancy says no. <laughs> 
Okay, but it's good that you are interacting, guys. Okay, let's go to the to the next slide. Oops, sorry. Now, there is a conversation between two colleagues. They are talking about their professional emails. Um, let me read the, 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 the conversation for you. Do you often see emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. So you're going to practice this conversation with a partner and take turns talking about the tips you checked in exercise two. For example, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you another example. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use all capitals in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Uh, for example, do not uh, use smileys or emojis in your formal emails because that is not professional. Okay, what about um, uh, what about uh, writing long messages? Okay, that's not professional either. You have to be brief, concise, direct to the point because people don't have a lot of time to read it. Okay, a long email. So let's practice the conversation with a partner and continue the conversation talking about more tips. Is that okay, guys? Is it clear what you are going to do? Yes. Okay. Again, let's go into the groups. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, I already sent you another invitation. Yes, all is oriented. <laughs> yeah, I sent to another group, group two, with Carla Maritza Sanchez and Victor. Okay. Teacher, póngame con Carlos. Con Carlos Gualberto. <ríe> sí, teacher, ahorita puedo. Ok. Y, y bueno, está en un grupo donde está Rocío y William. Ya me salí. <ríe> 
Okay.